So you remember the good old days, right? Yeah, I do too. I remember once, many years ago, I, I used to wear tie clips, you know, hold the, hold the tie in place. And one day I got a, a tie clip. I had a little collection of them, not, not too huge, not too small, but a couple of them. And this one, it just wasn't the most expensive tie clip. So inevitably it broke. And I happened to be out and about, so I couldn't just get a replacement one. And I was distraught. I mean, I remember I didn't know what to do. And I remember setting my eyes upon a box of Little Caesar's pizza. Took a slice, put it right on, worked like a miracle. With that masterful lead-in and the beautiful sound of the wind chimes, uh, I want to introduce with a sign. Today's video is going to be talking about Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza Place, not to confuse them with any other Little Caesars, uh, but Little Caesars Pizza. And, well, just my general thoughts on them. This is, this is the best pose for the camera. Little Caesars. I like to call it America's favorite economy fast food pizza place. Uh, that's what they really are. And the Little Caesars. Is there another place you can go to that you can get a pizza at, at the price that they deliver? Actually, yeah, there are a ton of places, but forget, forget about that. The video is about Little Caesars. And uh, just some general thoughts on it. Now, Little Caesars is a pizza place, admittedly. It is not my favorite pizza chain by any means. As a matter of fact, all of my favorite pizza places are mom and pop shops. They're, they're local establishments. Uh, I, I just feel that the local places can add kind of more, more care and, you know, more love and maybe some better freshness and etc. to their pizzas uh, than, you know, the major chains do. But let's face it, you know, sometimes those local places can cost the more we don't have the time to sit down and eat there, whatever it is, and we go to the fast food pizza place. Little Caesars, to me, it's about variability. And that is my true thought on the company. Variability. It is a place where it has some good things and some bad things. And at the price that they're served at, you end up saying usually one of two things. Wow, that's a steal. Or you say, well, what did I expect? That's usually the way it goes with Little Caesars. You're either blown away with the food for the price that you pay for it, or you're kind of, you're not even surprised. You think, yeah, I paid this for wings. I mean, what did, what did I expect? You know, you, you get you get what you paid for. I remember with Little Caesars, the first time I really considered myself a full true consumer of Little Caesars was around 2015 or so. Because when I was in New York, I, I just didn't really have access to Little Caesars, of all things. There just weren't, there weren't a lot around, and I just didn't have the chance to be able to go there frequently and, and, and dine there. Uh, but starting in 2015, gosh, three years ago now, uh, I, I became a more frequent consumer of, of Little Caesars and all their wares. Although, when I was young, a few times when I was traveling about, I did have the chance to go to Little Caesars. And I think there has been a bit of a drop in quality in terms of their, their products. For a while, they were just consistently good, uh, based on my own recollections and also second-hand accounts. Uh, but nowadays, again, it's hit or miss. One, espe one thing, especially, I suppose, with Little Caesars that I remember is their pan pizza. It's actually the deep dish pizza. They call it the deep, 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 deep dish pizza. Um, because it's just so deep dish pizza. And uh, that's a pizza for me that kind of sums up the whole place. In every every aspect where it's a pizza you're not paying the most for it it's not something that's gonna break the bank it's not a $15 pizza it's not a $20 pizza not even a $10 pizza it's, it's just an inexpensive item and I remember that used to be for the longest time my favorite item from Little Caesars some days I would get the pizza and it would be delicious I mean I'd be I'd be thinking you know, I did, I did awesome. This is great. This is some great, great cheap eats. And other days I'd get it and I'd be thinking, boy, am I disappointed in this one today. 
That's a little secret. You know, when it comes down to their food, I have my favorites, and I have some things that I think are awful. Their wings, that's something that I, I, I can't, I can't say anything about in, in good, in good, in good regards. I can't. I think their wings are disgusting, uh, are terrible, are awful. The breadsticks, or actually the crazy bread, I think they call them, are good, but especially best when they're served fresh and they get a little bit of that extra garlic parmesan on them. But there's been one redeeming item from Little Caesars that kind of keeps me coming back and keeps me going there. And, you know, otherwise, as I said, before this, it was the deep dish pizza. And even that had its ups and downs and its variability in days where I was thinking, I don't want to take the risk. And that's their extra most business pizza. That pizza, I tell you, ever since they introduced it, and they've had it for about a year now, that pizza has kept me coming back. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised, that, honestly, it hasn't degraded in quality. Because most pizzas, you know, they're great when you bring it out first, and then it kind of goes down and down, and then it plateaus for a bit. But their extra most best is pizza. For the value, for what it is, you know, you're not going to expect the best pizza in the world, flavor-wise. But for what it is, I'm pretty impressed, truth be told. And uh, that, that's one pizza that's kind of kept me coming back. You know, Little Caesars, they're a value pizza place. Some of their items are hits, misses, and everything in between, but I feel the extra most bestest pizza that they did uh, really is great. And, uh, hey, we're talking about food. How about I just show you some? So follow me, if you will, and let me, uh, let me show you some, some items from Little Caesars. Yeah, doing the consumption sequence today. I know, I know my face looks red. It's a very, uh, very, very hot, sunny day today. Mid-90s and uh, almost cloudless skies. So I need an umbrella. And the umbrella with the sun directly overhead is red. So my face looks even redder. But, you know, we're past the point of no return here. We're just going to go with it. You know, say what you will. If, if, you, if you just want to exaggerate it and say it makes my face look all... Like with the red cheeks, like an anime character, then just go, go all out. I, yeah, I don't care. Just go for it. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. Some selections from Little Caesars. I know you all want me to say the intro, so I will. Even though this isn't a food review, I'll say it for you. Hello, everyone. This is Running on Empty Food Review. Now, anyway, back on to uh, what we have here. I got two products for you. Their extra most bestest pizza and their crazy bread. Now, I wasn't exaggerating when I said this is an economy pizza place. And what you get is what you pay for. You're either going to be blown away or not. Because I got all this, this large pie and the, the crazy bread and the sauce for $6. That's unbelievable. I mean, I tell you, I go to Starbucks to get my coffee. And sometimes even just a drink costs more than this whole meal. So when you talk about economy pizza, man... The value is good no matter what you're getting, pretty much. And here it is, an extra most bestest pizza, still going. Um, still, you know, good good amount of pepperoni on it. I'm actually going to go with this slice here. And uh, we'll just see how it tastes. Anyway, let me hold it up better for you so you could hopefully see it, see it best. There it is. There's, there's me with it. Giving a stupid look to the camera. Uh, but there you go. You can see that is, uh, hopefully, identifiable as pepperoni. Not just pepper, or roni, or ham, but pepperoni. Yeah. I know, when he was thinking it was ham for a second, but it's not pepperoni. There's a slice, you know, greasy, greasy pizza, you know, lots of oils and pepperoni. But anyway, I'm just going to try it, see uh, how it is. This is just my meal for the day today. Oh man, this stuff hits the spot, I'll tell you. Honestly, hungry.
Mm. It honestly, it satisfies a hunger, I'll tell you that. There's this plant over there. It's a blustery, you know, windy day. The plant keeps moving around, and in my peripheral vision, it keeps catching my eye. I keep thinking, wait, oh, someone's coming over here. Yeah. But no, it's just a plant. Anyway, pizza itself uh, didn't disappoint. One of those times, again, where for the price, you know, it's awesome. Again, it's not the best quality pizza in the world, but if you're hungry, you don't have that much, that much money, you just want to save a little bit, uh, extra most bestest, you can't go wrong. I mean, the pepperoni is plentiful. Uh, it's more of a saltier type of pepperoni. It's a little bit of a salty type of pizza, but the richness of the sauce kind of counteracts that. Just makes it into a good, pretty tasty pizza overall that really at least the standards that I set for Little Caesars it meets and maintains the standards so uh, with that said you know again this isn't a full review just me kind of eating lunch and uh, I'm satisfied I'll tell you that they just did a good job overall pizza tastes good fresh that's a view into the bag of the uh, crazy bread oh yeah Look at that. you can see all the the, the butter and kind of oil from that. That's what you want with the crazy bread, though. I always say, this type of stuff, good for the mind, bad for the body. There it is. Crazy bread stick. And dipping sauce, too, which the one thing I also like about them, for the price, they're very liberal with the dipping sauce. They give you, they give you a good amount of it, I'll tell you that. This one's a little on the chewier side. I don't mind if it's doughy, but, it, but you know, there's not a ton of resistance. But this one's just a little chewier than I'd like. That's why I said it's kind of hit or miss. But. Has a good amount of garlic butter on it, at least, which is good. And the sauce always kind of kind of spices it up. These two though, the crazy bread and the sauce, they always go well together. Always a good accompaniment. I'd always just get the sauce anyway for the heck of it. You could even dip the pizza in the sauce if you want a little more. It just works out. But just my thoughts on Little Caesars, just uh, having a Little Caesars meal and kind of what I was talking about earlier, it met those expectations. Really cheap, six bucks for this. No matter which way you kind of see it, that's a good deal. And uh, hey, here, here's a meal for the day, you know, and it tastes pretty good too. Eating sequence concluded. Ah, well, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, Little Caesars, they're not a perfect company by by any means. They have their ups, they have their downs in terms of food quality. Sometimes the service can be a little iffy. Uh, I wish they did online ordering, which they don't. But in the end, sometimes if you're looking for some cheap eats, especially pizza-wise, sometimes Little Caesars is just where it's at. That's all that I have to say about you there. On a final note, if you want to catch the newest VORW show, uh, it's a radio broadcast I do, you know, on a weekly basis. Check it out. Airs every Thursday. 
uh, goes out to you on TuneIn, SoundCloud, Shortwave. Anyway, check it out. Got some information on that in the description and in the cards. Uh, and also, check out the Amazon affiliate store if you're interested. It's Amazon.com slash shop slash the report of the week. Just has a wide variety of stuff I'd recommend, especially if you want to get a shortwave radio. You could listen to my show on it. Uh, you can check that out too. But if you're interested, take a look, uh, check it out. That's all that I have for you. Hope you have a great rest of your day or next day or day after that or whatever day it is. And until then, that's all that I have. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.